Charleston by Henry Timrod. Calm as the second summer which precedes the first fall of the snow and brought sun of heroic deeds the city bites the foe. As yet behind the ramparts stern and proud a boat at thunder sleep, like sumter, like a battlement cloud, looms o'er the solemn deep. Now kelp frowns some lofty cliff or scar to guard the holy strand, and moultry halts and leisure dogs of war above the level sand. And down with units of thousand guns lie couched, unseen beside the flood, like tigers in some orient jungle crouched that wait and watch for blood. Meanwhile through streets, echoing with trade, walk grave and thoughtful men, whose hands may one day wield the patriarch's blade as lightly as the pen. Maidens with such eyes as would grow dim over a bleeding hound, seem each one to have caught the strength of him whose sword she sadly bound. Was girt with old and garrisoned at home, day patient following day, or Charleston looks from roof and spire and dome across a tranquil bay. Ships through a hundred foes from Saxon lands and spicy Indian ports bring Saxon steel and iron to her hands and summer to her courts. But still, along yon dim Atlantic line, yon hostile smoke creeps like a harmless mist above a brine from some frail floating oak. Shall the spring dawn, and she still clad and smiles, with an unscathed brow, rest in the strong arms of the palm-crowned isles, as fair and free as now? We know not, and the temple of her fates God has inscribed the doom, and all untroubled in the faith, she waits a triumph of a tomb.